What is up guys, Sky here, and in this video we're going to tour the content area of D2L. Now if you're already familiar with how to navigate the content area, this video might not be that informative, but it does show some little stuff that you might not have noticed before that can make moving around in the content area and between modules a little bit easier. So here on our homepage, we're of course going to go up to content. And the first thing that I want to point out is that depending on how your instructor has set it up, this might look a little bit different. What we're seeing right now is called the old content experience. However, there's also a new content experience, which will most likely be the default in the future. It might not be at the time you're viewing this video, or it might be. So I'm going to show you what that looks like right now. And I want to mention that as an admin, I can switch back and forth, but as a student, you're going to be viewing whatever your instructor has set it to. So it'll be up to your instructor and you won't be able to change back and forth. But like I said, this is the old content experience and this is what the new one will look like. It utilizes color to kind of differentiate between modules and some other stuff has kind of been streamlined in terms of the uh, menu options like table of contents and whatnot. But for right now, we will stay in the old content experience. So as you can see over here on the left, these are what are called modules. And depending on the course, modules might be set up a little different. However, I set this up how many courses are set up. So you'll generally have a syllabus module. And when you click on that, there will usually be a file for a syllabus right there. And if you click on that, you can view it and then even download it if you want it on your computer. We've got our other unit one, unit two, unit three modules. And so let me click on one of those and show you what that looks like. So when you click on a module, it'll open up over here, and then you'll be able to see all of the sub-modules and content and files associated with that module. And if you click on one, like we'll go to this one, for example, it'll open it up there and you can view it. If you notice here, you can download what's on here, or you can even print it if you do prefer to have something on a paper copy. As far as navigation goes, there's a bunch of different ways that you can do this. First of all, this at the top is what's called a breadcrumb chain. And as you can see, we have our submodule here, and then we have our unit one module, and then we have the table of contents. I can click on this and go back to the module, or if I'm here, I can click on the table of contents and go all the way back to the main here. By the way, if you have the table of contents open, you'll notice that all of these modules can also be viewed in this fashion as well, unless you, if, if you like clicking on them this way and opening them versus over here on the left, it's really up to you. But I'm gonna go back to that piece of content there and I want to show you this little sidebar here if you expand the side panel you'll be able to basically see that table of contents view for unit one right here in this little kind of nifty uh, sidebar so this is also a, an easy way to navigate between those things or if you go to the right here you'll notice these little directional buttons and if you click on them they will allow you to cycle through different pieces of content in a given module as well I'm going to go back to that one real quick. You'll notice this bookmark button. If you click on that, this will now be bookmarked so that you can, by going back to the table of contents and bookmarks, view it quick if it's something that you know you're going to be accessing a lot. This expansion button will basically open it in a new window. Again, very helpful if you are going to be viewing multiple pieces of content. You can kind of switch between them with having different windows open versus going between these navigational buttons. And then finally, I'm going to go back here and I'm going to show you this search bar. If there's a topic that you know that you needed to view or do something with, but you can't remember exactly what it was, and especially in classes where there is a lot of content, this can help you find it just by searching for keywords. So we'll just type in HTML. And as you can see, the HTML coding sandbox we were playing around in comes right up. We click on it, and there we are again. And so that's really the basics of navigating the content. It's mostly pretty intuitive, but it's good to know how modules and submodules and content within those work when you're trying to find stuff in your course. As always, if you have any questions or any concerns, you can always email us at onlinehelp at okcu.edu.